And welcome to World News on ITVS. I am Gift Ambrose. The United States has imposed entry restrictions on more Nigerians for undermining the democratic process during the Africa Nation 2023 election cycle, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said on Monday. The action is the latest in a series of visa restrictions imposed on Nigerian individuals in recent years. More than 3.1 million people have been forced to flee their homes amid an increasingly desperate humanitarian situation in war-torn Sudan. Human rights groups are warning of widespread ethnic violence, attacks on civilian and rampant sexual violence against women and girls as the warring factions, the Sudanese Armed Forces, SAF, and the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, continue to battle for control of the northeastern African country. Hundreds of homes have been destroyed by a fire in a poor neighborhood of the South African port city of Durban. One person is known to have died in the blaze that tore through the Kennedy Road informal settlement early on Sunday morning. But there are fears that more bodies could be found. The cause of the fire is not yet known. However, some eyewitnesses reported that it started when two people who had been drinking got into argument. At least 40 people in South Korea have died after a weekend of severe rains caused widespread flooding and last slide across the country. The disaster has prompted calls from the president, Yuk Sun Yo, to overhaul how the country combats extreme weather arising from climate change. On Monday, the nation was reeling from a tunnel tragedy where at least 13 people died in their vehicles after becoming trapped by flood waters. Here's the report. Two people have died after an attack on the bridge linking the occupied Crimean Peninsula to Russia. The state media reported that the head of Crimea's parliament blamed Ukraine for the incident. But Kyiv is yet to officially comment. The Kerch Bridge was opened in 2018 and enables road and road travel between Russia and Crimea, Ukrainian territory occupied by Moscow's forces since 2014. Russia's transport ministry said the bridge support were not damaged. The ministry said investigations were ongoing, but unconfirmed reports said explosions were heard early today. Iranian police are resuming controversial patrols to ensure women obey dress code and cover their hair in public, state media reports. The morality police will return to the streets to enforce Iran's hijab laws, a spokesperson said on Sunday. It comes 10 months after a young woman, Masa Amini, died in custody following her arrest in Tehran for allegedly breaking the dress code. However, Islamic hardliners have been demanding that the patrols be resumed for some time. Under Iranian law, which is based on the country's interpretation of Sharia, women must cover their hair with a hijab and wear long, loose-fitting clothing to disguise their figures. Do you think the morality police can prevent women from not wearing a hijab? They cannot impose it like before. The number of people who do not obey is too high now. They cannot handle all of us. The last thing they can do is use violence and force against us. They cannot do it. Welcome back. And now on entertainment stories. Twitter has lost almost half of its advertising revenue since it was bought by Elon Musk for $44 billion last October. Its owner has revealed he said the company had not seen the increase in sales that had been expected in June, but added that July was a bit more promising. Mr. Musk sacked about half of Twitter's 7,500 staff when he took over in 2022 in an effort to cut costs. Rival app Threats now has 150 million users, according to some estimates. And now in sport. Argentina forward Lionel Messi has signed for American side Inter Miami on a deal that runs until the end of 2025. The seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, 36, left French champions Paris Saint-Germain at the end of the 2022-2023 season. Inter Miami co-owner David Beckham said the signing was a dream come true. 
Messi will be available to play for Miami against Liga MX side Cruz Azul on 21st July in the opening match of League's Cup. With this, we conclude the world news on ITVS. I am Gift Ambrose. Thanks for watching.